the highest position that honestly a mariner can go can enter um, right um, is hi everyone jai hind jai bharat jai mata di welcome to my youtube channel mochane video tutorial i have got captain rana with me who has been guiding thousands of youngsters today from the maritime fraternity if they want to shift from ship to shore so now we welcome you captain rana over here with a very important question so the question is if i am a merchant navy officer deck cadet third officer second officer chief officer captain and if i want to shift shift from ship to shore but i don't want to be assigned core shipping i want to do something in maritime fraternity so that i can leverage my experience but i don't want to do core shipping what all options do i have please hey thanks for having me here pranit and um, so now let's see if you don't want to be associated with ship management right and outside ship management but associate to broader maritime uh, industry where all could you get into right number one and one where only a deck officer can get is pilot age right uh, because you have navigated vessels all around the world it is uh, a skill which honestly no one else can develop until and unless uh, you know very few ports uh, wherein a non mariner it takes 10 years or so to kind of become a pilot but over here a master uh, can directly switch after a 6 months of training and actually uh, get the vessels inside the port right um now as a pilot right when you enter uh, you retire as a harbor master right and harbor master is actually the deputy conservator of the port uh, which is a very 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 big position to be in he is second to a ias officer right uh, so an ias officer essentially manages the entire port but he is the person who is second to them so so he becomes a deputy conservator of a port right so it's a very important position um second which comes very naturally again is port operations right now port operations um means uh managing the cargo operations uh, uh, maybe it could be for bulk it could be oil it could be container it could be cash carriers uh most of the operations persons in um in ship in port uh, who come from a vessel background are deck officers right and and their um skills are valued a lot right and they ultimately go and lead uh, you know organizations in adani person who is almost i mean second to the promoter over there is a master mariner right there were master mariners who actually helped adani to set up their ports initially and they are extremely valued over there right um third is uh, uh, now government organizations and there are two of them uh, which i would like to focus one is uh, the maritime boards right gujarat maritime board maharashtra maritime board andhra pradesh maritime board and so on and so forth right now over there you mostly again i have seen deck officers uh, you know managing the maritime boards uh, gujarat if you see in gujarat maritime board at least 10 master mariners are there who are essentially uh, managing uh, the maritime boards over there right another is dg shipping right in dg shipping of course you've got uh, uh engineers you also got uh, deck officers uh, over there um the highest position that honestly a mariner can go can enter um right um is honestly nautical advisor to the government of india right what is a nautical advisor who is a nautical advisor he essentially provides advice to you know at probably a pmo level you know what needs to be done in terms of not the strategic uh, defense but in terms of nautical development right um, so so as a master mariner you can actually go and become a nautical advisor to the government of india which is a very very senior position right uh, maritime law uh, again um, uh, uh, so there there was a time when there were non mariners who were actually into maritime law and they used to get um, um, you know um, uh, they, they didn't used to know what to do uh, when there is a core shipping thing then used they used to call a mariner 
could be an officer or an engineer to ask for information now if you are a deck officer and you are a lawyer you actually can do both the things and help your clients help your company succeed right um you can also get into business development right and that's something which comes a little bit more naturally to uh, persons from the administrative side because they interact with a lot of people when a ship docks right there are as a ship docks you know you're flooded with people on the ship you know 10 different people managing them uh, uh, sorting things out and 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 so business development is something which comes very naturally um shipping agency right now agencies essentially what do they do they ensure that the turnaround of a vessel in a port is at the minimum right so which means um you have to liaise with customs immigration steve doors pilots um ship chandlers um, um classification guys on signers uh of signers so many i mean probably another 20 stakeholders and this agency guys uh um are mostly managed by a deck officer right uh so so that's where um you uh, because as a master uh or a chief officer you are managing all these stakeholders already so when you step ashore you again know what is to be done but you of course have your own growth path and and then you are able to do it so so these are the things where where you know a deck officer can easily transition into a um non ship management but associated to the broader maritime field so you know what each time when you say this that as a uh, as a merchant officer you have more this towards administration i really feel jealous as an engineer because i believe that happening because the maximum interaction as an engineer you get to have with the outside world is when you become a chief engineer on the other hand you go as a decadent and you're getting a pilot from any country whatsoever any nationality any religion coming with you talking to you welcome sir please come over here talking on walkie talkie with different people going from here to there and yes this is the difference and i feel this is where as an engineer we lack and that is why i guess i'm the only engineer out there in the social media talking generally they have merchant navy officers i'm the only one i guess which is <laughs> definitely not good for engineers but again जो किसी की स्ट्रेंथ है वो हमारी नहीं है जो हमारी है वो किसी और की नहीं है करेक्ट एब्सोल्यूटलीट अट्रैक्टेड मी वॉज दार्बर मास्टर पोजिशन बिकॉज आई हेव सीन i was talking to a few pilots they told me about the salaries out there it was not very good but the moment you say harbor master to mai sir attracted ho gaya towards the field because everything is not about just money it's something about power as well jo ki karta hai like when you said about government organization even two of my batchmates are there in gujarat board and i have gone to their offices i have seen car pur milio and all those stuff and they are doing good for themselves as well as for the industry gd shipping again sir matter of pride matter of power going for the country as well as ki bhaiya we have the authority and becoming nautical advisor to government of india sir, i did not know that <laughs> sorry for my unawareness mujhe maximum pata tha ki that you can become a surveyor or you can go for port ship control inspection and all those things mujhe nahi pata tha ki you can become a nautical advisor to the government of india maritime law is something sir i think so ki a lot of seafarers abhi right now maybe after watching this video will look into it and we'll be covering this videos in details later and yes shipping agency and last but not the least guys a lot of captains like captain rana himself are entrepreneurs as well so last but not the least mai to ye kehna chahunga kuch apna karo shipping industry ke liye karo aur isko grow karo we indians were the best in the shipping industry a few thousand years ago even till britishers were not there we had around 40000 ships and today we lack and we need entrepreneurs out here who can create businesses so for that thank you captain rana for helping the fraternity and with this i will end this video and do watch the next video jai hind jai bharat jai mata hi jai hind jai bharat jai mata i hope you like the video and now right now as a deck officer maybe you are thinking of transitioning from ship to show there is no harm 
provided you make a well informed right decision so as a seafarer merchant navy decoded website has provided a free course for you guys the course you can see out here and in this course you can find all the options as a third officer second officer chief officer or captain you have got in core shipping outside core shipping outside shipping what can be the job profile what kind of skill set is required uh, what is the salary that you can expect everything is there in this course so please go ahead enroll in this course the course link is in the description box as well as in the comment section jai hind jai bharat jai mata